Today we're making chicken cacciatore. Now this is an Italian dish that literally means chicken hunter, so it's gonna have chicken in it. Sometimes they put rabbit in it, but we're doing chicken today. And it's kind of like a stew if you're not familiar with it, but it can be served over pasta, rice, uh, mashed potatoes, or if you wanna go low carb, you can do zoodles, which is what I'm gonna do today, and uh, or cauliflower rice or cauliflower mash. I'm gonna be cooking this in the Instant Pot, so if you have one of those, you can make it. If you don't, you can still make this dish easily just by putting it on the stove and letting it simmer for just, you know, maybe an hour. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. All right, we're gonna start off here with chef joke number one, and number two is gonna be a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned. All right, so why did the duck cross the road? Because he wanted to prove that he wasn't chicken. <laughs> Okay, so to start off our recipe, I'm gonna be working on some of the vegetables that are going into this. I'm gonna be using a little bit of onion, celery, and carrot. And what that is, is a, a mirepoix. And mirepoix is a French term that means flavor base. And this is how you get a lot of flavor into your recipes. Now the chicken I recommend for using in this recipe is bone in, skin on, chicken thighs. It's better than chicken breast, because it doesn't dry out and I, I think it's just so much better. So I'm going to season these both sides with salt and pepper. And the reason we want to use skin on, if we can, you don't have to, but it just adds more flavors because that extra fat does add a little more flavor and it helps to stick on the bottom of your pan and that's the fond that adds more flavor to the dish. So fire up your cast iron pan over medium high heat. We want this pan to be nice and hot. Add a little bit of olive oil and then swirl it around so it coats the bottom of the pan. Lay the thigh pieces in skin side down. I'm gonna let these sear up for a good five minutes or until they're a nice golden brown. This is how you want them to look. After you cook these on the second side for about five minutes, then go ahead and take them out and put them on a clean plate. Turn the temperature to low and add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Now I want you to notice the brown bits stuck to the bottom of the pan. This is what we want. This is flavor. Now to this we're going to add our mirepoix, or the carrots, onion, and celery. So as we cook this, the onions and carrots and celery are going to pick up all those brown bits and that's going to really make them taste great. I'm also going to add just a little touch of salt. Now I'm going to saute this for about 10, 11 minutes or so, and I'm going to cover it because I want the heat to cook those carrots, the steam. So after about 10 minutes or so, we're going to test these, uh, take the lid off and give them a stir, and then poke them with a fork. Now that they're soft, we can add some tomato paste and garlic. Push the carrot mixture to the side, and then lay the tomato paste right in the center so it's touching the pan. This is gonna help create some nice caramelization and flavor to the dish. Smash the tomato paste down to the bottom of the pan, spread it out a little bit, and let it caramelize like that for about a minute. Give it a stir and let it cook for about another minute. Okay, now I'm just gonna work it in. And we're gonna add four cloves of garlic, and we're gonna cook that for a minute. Okay, next we're gonna add some red wine to deglaze the pan, and then we'll let this cool so we can put it in the blender. I'm using a Cabernet here, but feel free to use whatever you have. Okay, we are ready. This is cooled enough. We're gonna place this into my Vitamix. Now my mixture's gonna be thick, and that's really what I want, because I want this to have a, a thicker sauce, so I'm gonna let this mirepoix do it for me naturally. So, but I am gonna add a little bit of chicken broth to this just to get it a little bit thin and easy to mix. So now we're ready to place everything into the Instant Pot. Starting off here with our sauce. You can see how thick this is. Next, we're gonna add a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes. Because the sauce is still a bit thick, I'm gonna add just a little bit more chicken broth to it. Next up, I chopped up some Baby Bella mushrooms, and we're gonna add that to the pot. Next, we're adding some fresh herbs from my garden, and this makes it just spectacular. So I'm gonna be using lots of fresh basil, rosemary, and thyme. Chop it all up, and then add it to the pan. 
With the fresh thyme, you're just going to peel off the petals and then chop those up. I don't have fresh oregano growing in my garden, so we're going to use dried. Here I'm going to use about a teaspoonful. For the rosemary, I just tossed in the whole stem, and I'll remove that before I serve it. Now it's time to add the chicken, but before we do, I'm going to remove the skin. Then I'll set the thighs right in the sauce. Last, I'm going to add some black pitted olives. We'll give this a little toss, and then we're ready to cook it. So we're going to pressure cook this for about 15 minutes, and then we'll do a slow release for about 10. It's got to be that time for chef joke number two, right? All right, let's do it. What sound does a negative rooster make? Cock-a-doodle don't. All right, so I'm gonna take a warmed, I have a warmed up cast iron pan here, and I'm gonna pour the, the mixture or scoop it in there so you can see it better. It looks fantastic, by the way. This smells so delicious, too. So I'm gonna finish this up with a little garnish of fresh parsley and basil. Now I'm just going to roll and cut my basil so it's in nice small pieces. So this garnish adds to the look of the dish and also adds more flavor. Now I'm going to serve this dish, like I said earlier, over some zoodles, but you could do certainly mashed potatoes would be wonderful. Regular rice or, you know, for a low carb version, you could do cauliflower rice or even cauliflower mash. A great recipe to serve with today's video are my garlic mashed potatoes with brown butter. You're going to love that. Click the link here on the screen. Go check it out. You'll love having these for this dish and many others. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button to let me know. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.